What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing Ninjago Garmadon issue 2. As normal, there will be a spoiler free and spoiler review of it, so skip to this time frame if you would like to go straight to the spoiler review. But stay tuned if you want the spoiler free or if you're a legend you watch both. So, I really like this comic. This is the spoiler-free review. I really like this comic. Uh, I love this series so far. I will have you know that we have a bit of backstory in this one. It's really cool. We, we introduced some new characters. Um, it was really cool. I've decided that I'm not really going to talk about the book and just really give my thoughts on it and talk really more about the book in the spoiler discussion. So yeah, it is a really good comic. I really like it. The art is absolutely incredible. And in this one, I'm not showing it just because of potential spoilers. Um, there is a sketchbook sort of thing at the back where they show some of the concept art for it, which they might be adding for all of them. Who knows, but it's it's all in all just really cool. The art is amazing. And um, there was one thing that I'm going to kind of pull it aside here and read to you. Because I just think it's too cool to keep out of here. It says, not only because it, it's the little thing back here that talks more about it. Not only did we want to make sure the comic fit in seamlessly with the, with the Legion... Oh, sorry, wrong thing. The look and feel of the land of Ninjago has been well established over the past decade, so when tasked with creating a new chapter in its awesome history, Tri, which, or Tree, um, who is the, um, the author, immersed himself in the animated series and bought himself a Destiny's Bounty before he started drawing. For all of us working on this comic, the act of building and play has led to countless stories over the years. So as you can see, the people are crazy intimidated about this. They legit bought a Destiny's Bounty set to um, look at before they even started writing this. I just think that's absolutely incredible. This is just such an incredible series and I can't wait to see what they do next. Also, if I can try and pull it here without adding anything. At the very back, you have the thing for the um, next cover. It comes out June 29th, 2022. So yeah, this is an amazing, amazing comic book series. We are entering the spoiler-free discussion. If you have not seen it or you don't want to hear spoilers, get out of here. Alright guys, here's the spoiler discussion. So, we start off with a bit of a back... Uh, backstory here where Wu talks to Garmadon right before he leaves the monastery and so they just have this whole discussion but it turns out this actually could be completely false and this is not true at all because Garmadon wakes up from a dream here so that could that whole flashback could be not real at all so they give Garmadon some more two moon tea and then Lord Mogra shows up and wants to leave Garmin on a message. They fight the um They fight the giant bear. Well they fight one giant bear and they think that's the leader. But then it turns out it's not. Kuma is that bear, which is absolutely huge. So Garmadon actually turns into an Oni again. While in the other bear's mouth for some reason. I guess that's just what power looks like. Um, so then he defeats her for now. That She's just under some rubble. She could definitely come back. And then we see that the village is going to be, is being burned down by Lord Mogra and the Red Crows. So we see this whole backstory thing here. I read a bit of that in the spoiler free. Then we see the sketchbook with some early designs for Garmadon. We see he could have had some more robes and stuff. There's a regular bear to scale with Garmadon here. We have Lord Mogra, the flag. The We see some genuine designs here, which look basically the same, just with red instead of purple, 
or orange for his sake and purple for for um for ultraviolet and then the giant bear which is actually makes it look much smaller than it did in this here like here she looks insanely huge but if this is still as i was saying before i was so rudely interrupted um, if that's still to scale, then that is not as big as they really made it look. Then we see some Two Moon Village designs, the first cover art, and then this cover art for this other thing that we could have gotten, but I'm not sure exactly what that's for. And then the thing for the last one. So I really, really like this. The story is going... And I can see that this is going to be crazy because we haven't even had... Garmadot doesn't even know that Lord Mogra ex exists yet because the village people are trying to hide it from him. Just this is going to be absolutely incredible of a series. I'm so excited to see where they go from here. But uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you'll have an absolutely amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!